Hi, this is Attila16 and this is a video of Digital Combat Simulator 810C Warthog. Now, like many flight sim, it's really time consuming, it's really fun and relaxing. And uh, nothing is better to relax and fly around than music. So I don't know if you guys have heard of the band of Monster and Man, but uh, their music is a kind of uh, indie folk music, pretty good and very fitting for uh, a flight. They did a live stream uh, on April 5th and um, it's available uh, on the Bowery Present channel. Such kind of channel which is totally dedicated to live music. And the songs are available on that channel after the live concert. If you like it, make sure to subscribe uh, using the annotation here and uh, make sure to check it out. And leave some comment on their channel uh, letting them know which band you would like to see next. And while you do that, I'll get ready to take off. Just setting up a few of my uh, weapons first, or equipment. Just setting up so uh, I can fire many at once. And okay, I guess uh, I'm ready to take off soon. Just checking the direction. There's no waypoint, so the objective is really close. This is a simply a training mission to show you guys the game and uh, it's like yeah it's a mission i managed to create in just a minute so uh, it's not uh, anything fancy and it's probably not representative of the old game but this is just a demonstration so to introduce you guys to this game it's really realistic every button you see uh, can be touched and uh, interact with so I think that uh, if you guys uh, play this game, you might actually end up being able to start up an A10 and fly with it uh, like if you had the training for it. Although I will not recommend that though. Nonetheless, uh, it's like uh, I think this is a very good representation of uh, uh, an A10. And uh, of course I never flew an A10, but I think this is really close to it. And uh, it it runs really smoothly. Uh, it's uh, everything feel right, and you can interact with uh, every button, as I said before. And this is really cool. It kind of make make the game feel complex, but uh, when you look at it, uh, there's a lot of button, but it's all logical. You know that that was created by humans, so it makes sense. It may take you uh, perhaps a little more than. Uh, a day or two to learn uh, everything but uh, I think it's worth it and once you understand all the principle and the logic of how it work it's really no big deal and it's uh, kind of rewarding to fly that now of course the A10 is mostly a support plane so you won't uh, dogfight with that like if you're facing a MiG-29 you might have some trouble there but uh, you still have uh, two Sidewinder missiles and uh, that means you, you can defend yourself. But the goal of the A-10 Warthog is really to support troops or uh, to do a strike against specific targets. So it's not the most um, aggressive plane ever. It's mostly uh, to help your own troop. That's the whole purpose of this plane. And now what I'll do is uh, I'll engage the mortars which are a target without anybody on them. Uh, I'll engage a mortar using a CBA-97, uh, which is a... Uh, well, I believe that's the name. And uh, which is the uh, kind of, money, uh, of ammo, which uh, is pretty uh, smart because it will only explode if it hit uh, a target. So, for example, if uh, it... it uh, Something which is not the target, it won't explode. So that means that prevent uh, collateral damage quite a bit. And that's pretty nice. Also, uh, what you do is you use your pod, which is on your uh, right wing in this case, and allow you to see with IR vision and uh, that kind of stuff the enemy target. You can have a lock on it. You can uh, set the bombs uh, to target that area. And then you put uh, your uh, bombs into CRP mode. Now, in this case, I'm a little too close to do that uh, now. I went too fast. But uh, really, uh, what the CRP mode does is that uh, 
the bomb or the computer will uh, estimate where you need to drop the bomb and you just have to hold the fire button and the computer will drop it by itself it's all things to that uh, pod that I showed you on the right wing and uh, what happened is that uh, the bomb, this kind of bomb will just explode in multiple smaller bombs and these will only explode if uh, they uh, hit a target which is hostile so that's really good for collateral damage and that probably will uh, save a lot of trouble and uh, now of course uh, it's mostly effective against uh, wide formation in this case it's only a few mortars so uh, it probably won't hit anything important and as you can see uh, the bomb is spreading in multiple smaller ones which, which have shoot and what that does is that it allows them to target the enemy I hope or expect and at the same time it gives you uh, the time to go away from uh, the area so you just continue on your way and uh, now it should probably hit a few targets soon we go. so as you can see it only hit a single mortar and there was many ammo spread there so that means that uh, it, it only target a specific uh, well what can be hostile so now let's switch to maverick missiles now these missiles are pretty easy to use they have a camera and they're able to lock on a target by themselves so what that means is that uh, you fire and forget them and this is pretty practical to fire on multiple target uh, in a short moment so what that means is that uh, what you do is you put uh, your uh, screen on soy and then uh, you'll be able to lock on different target very quickly and as you can see I locked on uh, the first one fired a missile locked on the second one fired another missile lock on another one fired a missile so it's really uh, that that's really uh, a very effective weapon and uh, once you fire them uh, you don't have to think about them anymore which is the neat part and they will guide themselves to the target which is in this case a mortar with nobody on so uh, now let's uh, show you the rockets the rockets are pretty easy to use essentially you just need to fly toward the target and the computer will show you with the crosshair where uh, the rockets will fall it's really intuitive and uh, it's really effective against uh, softer target I will say you can fire on a tank with those but uh, at the same time uh, since uh, you cannot uh, really be sure of the precision of them it's hard to destroy them now here in this case I'm zooming in now if you have track IR or such device that's uh, something you can do with your, your real body but in this case altitude, I'm using uh, my joystick to zoom in and as you can see uh, with only a few rockets I managed to hit two targets which is pretty effective now it's mostly effective against uh, light target so uh, for example if you know that uh, there's not that many armor out there perhaps get some rockets because uh, you can fire pr from pretty far and actually hit soft target pretty well so that's pretty good and uh, now I'll show you the gun the gun which is uh, why the warthog is famous because uh, it is said that the plane was built literally around it and uh, I think it it uh, it seemed to have a lot of firepower you can destroy quite a lot of target with that now what you need to do is you need to target in between the two dots on your crosshair and that probably will be the spread of your uh, ammo altitude, as you can see altitude. But uh, the, uh, of course, the further you are, the harder it is to hit the target. And I hit it. Now I'm adjusting, turning a little, shooting again, and there we Hold go. Up. Now my uh, my cannon use uh, armored piercing rounds, which uh, wait, no, sorry, heavy explosive rounds, which is pretty good against pretty much everything. So uh, I recommend it. Now in this game you can set up what kind of ammo or combination of ammo you you can uh, you want uh, into your uh, plane. There's three choice, so that's something which is neat because uh, that means you can uh, 
to uh, adjust the type of ammo or the kind of enemy you're facing. And now there's one less uh, target. I guess I'll eliminate it. I don't need to really zoom that close because uh, I think I can hit it like that. Pull up, pull up. And there we go. It's smoking. Sometimes you hit the target. It's just smoking. It it won't explode for a while. So that's uh, an indication. Usually you will see that oh, it's starting to burn. So there's no point wasting more ammo on that. And now that the uh, few target practice uh, at decoy or target have been destroyed, I guess I'll go back to the, the airport, which is over there. Now uh, I'm still loaded with bombs. Normally uh, you will expect a plane to get rid of those. But uh, in this case, uh, I'll try to land with them. What that might do is make me a little heavier but I think I can manage it. I can manage it. And uh, now I'm really close to the uh, uh, airport, so I'll pull out my air brakes. And that will slow me down. At the same time, I'm still pretty fast. So uh, what I'll do is I'll do a kind of, uh, uh, well, zigzag flight. Altitude, That's not altitude. particularly recommended, but uh, you know, I'm a little used to landing. I have a quite a background of uh, in flight simulators, which I rarely ever show you guys. So uh, I think I'll redress, and now that should be a smooth landing. Perhaps a little too exposed, uh, well, a little too heavy on the left side, but there seem to be no damage at all. So I'm uh, pulling out the brakes, wheel brakes, and. Uh, Guess what? You you can uh, correct with uh, uh, the uh, rudder, but uh, the best thing is really to activate your uh, steering wheel in front, which will allow you to adjust a little better uh, once you are, are at lower speed. And I think this is a successful landing. There's no apparent damage, so uh, it was a uh, perhaps a little uh, unorthodox landing but a successful one nonetheless. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if you want more videos of uh, this game, just tell me.